Today I'm going to be starting a new DIY series for arts and crafts. Today is going to be day one and we're going to be doing this brick painting with a quilt over it. So here I've already made one with warm colors and so today we're going to be making one with cool colors. And so the difference between them, warm colors are red, orange, and yellow and cool colors are purple, blue, and green. So here we got a bunch of sage, uh, purple, blue, and green. And we got a little turquoise there. And the main part of this, you're gonna need cosmetic wedges. It's um, what we use to make the bricks. So let's get right into the video. So for materials, we're gonna be using the Canson Mixed Media for the paper. And here we just got a bunch of Artist Loft paint and we got Master's Touch and Liquitex. So these are just um, colors that I prefer, but you can basically use anything in the shade. You just need to know how to order them from um, green to purple. So guys, here you can see I have all my colors laid out. They're not in the correct order because see, you see this color doesn't really go with the shade, so you might have to mix some colors up. So it goes with the flow of the bricks. So I'm going to start out with um, this green here, but since it's so bright, we're going to have to mix it with some other um, dark green, so it's a little bit darker. Here I've also got this brush to help me um, spread the paint on the sponge. Um, I usually do this with one sponge, but you may eventually end up doing it with um, a couple of sponges. Maybe because of the color, the drastic of the color change. To mean, see, you can see this green is so light. But I mean, since the other colors are darker, it won't change the um, color when you put the sponge on the paper. So, see, so you just gotta mix it. I just wanted to take some time out of this time lapse to tell you a little bit more about myself. So as a painter, I've been painting for three years and I've been part of an art fair, which I loved and I get to sell my artwork, but this year due to the quarantine and the lockdown, it was canceled. And other than painting, I love gaming. You've seen a couple of videos of me gaming and I love planners, they really help me keep in track. And that's basically it. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and try this painting for yourself.
about 15 minutes and it dried out for me. And now it's time to write a quote. So I'm going to write the quote, do or do not. There is no try um, from the movie Star Wars, but you can write whatever you want or you don't even have to write. You could just keep it like plain and simple or you could like write a name of a place and like outline it or something. So let's get ready. Before we end the video, I just wanted to make something clear and wanted to do something. You can see I wrote the quote. It's in black and you can't barely see it because the color is so dark. So I decided to go over it with some white paint that I have here. And I thought that would make it look more bright and it would make it pop out. So I'm going to do that right now. I hope you enjoyed me painting this and I hope you tried this too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell notifications. Have a great day! Bye!